This thing is the wonderful world of knowledge from Stone Age to Space Age with Zombie Elf. From Stone Age to Space Age. The human story covers 500,000 years from the Stone Age to the Space Age. It tells how civilizations began, how empires were built, and it explains how the world has become what it is today. So the human story starts from the Stone Age, the first farmers colonization of Pacific Islands around 2000 BC, Shang Dynasty, Kumar Empire, Silk Road links medieval castle, Inca civilization, being an empire, the Renaissance, formation of the America, French Revolution, Russian Revolution, Long March, World War One, World War Two, and now this is the Space Age that we are in. So moving around the world, many scientists believe modern humans first appeared in Africa by 20,000 BC. They had migrated and traveled and settled all over the world. They traveled farthest during the Ice Ages when most seas were frozen in huge ice sheets, leaving bridges of dry land which people could walk across. So the first farmers in Chatalhuk, the front door of most homes, was in the roof for protection. People climbed ladders to get inside their homes. So the first crops were wheat, rice, barley, potatoes, and the dogs were the first animals to be tamed. Straw was used, sickles were simple, and uh, these are the early farmers. And in ancient Egypt and its neighbors, not only people were made into mummies, cats, dogs, and falcons were made into mummies too. Some were pets, mummified to go into the afterlife with their owners. So those are the priests, the women, the pharaoh's funeral process this is. In the early India, they are riding off to battle. From about 320 BC to 185 BC, Hindu warriors fought wars to win riches and conquer new land. They rode to war on elephants and in chariots, pulled by horses. The well-trained elephants led the armies into battle. The first Chinese empire. There's an amazing fact here. When he died, Shi Huangdi was buried with over 6,000 life-size terracotta warriors to protect him and guard his tomb. The Mediterranean world. The Romans invented the first real concrete by mixing water, pebbles and volcanic ash. Investigating the past. Dark Age Europe. Celts often placed the skull of a defeated enemy above their front door to protect their house from evil spirits. The Muslim Empire. The capital city was Baghdad in present-day Iraq, was the capital of the Muslim Empire. So Baghdad had over 65,000 public baths. Central and South America. The Aztecs made the world's first chocolate from pounded cocoa beans, water, honey and spices. The Maya were skilled mathematicians and they were the first people to invent sign for zero. The medieval Europe. A knight's full battle armor was so stiff and heavy that he needed help from a trainee knight called the squire to put it on. Tang and Song China, the Silk Road. Japan, Korea and the Southeast Asia. 
fashionable Japanese women painted their faces white and their teeth black. Teeth were blackened because the white makeup made them look yellow. Australia and the Pacific Islands. Maori sea fishing nets were about 800 meters, half a mile long. <clears throat> the African empires. Around AD 900 in East Africa, a goat herd noticed his goats didn't sleep after nibbling wild coffee beans. This was how coffee, which can keep people awake, was discovered. North American civilizations. Renaissance and revolution in Europe. Over 3,000 people were guillotined during just one year of the French Revolution. This was the, called the terror. Trade around the world. All alone, Japan and China. Formation of the United States. Between 1900 and 1910, almost 9 million settlers left Europe and Eastern Asia to live in the United States. Industrial Revolution. Miners. Lightning came. Miners pulled in this inside the mine coal. And an agricultural revolution as well. The world wars during the 90s. There were two terrible wars. These wars are called world wars because so many countries were involved. Then there is a monument for peace. After World War II, a peace monument was built in the Japanese city of Hiroshima. It remembers the 150,000 people who were killed or injured when the world's first atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima by the US Air Force on August 6, 1945. Each year, people meet there to pray for peace. The communist revolutions and the Russian revolution, the Cold War, our changing world, new problems and peacekeeping, and becoming independent, and the end, we are now in the space age.